Hello everyone and welcome to EG Jewels Lapidary. Uh, my name is Eli Ganim and today I'm going to show you how to make a water drip for your fasting machine or even you could use it for a flat lap uh, if you have. Now the reason I, I did that is because the one we have at the club which used to be this one here uh, it cracked and it was leaking and as you could see try to put some glue all around it uh, that didn't work so I just ended up taking out about half a mile of, uh, of uh, tape out of this one and with the duct tape that also was leaking so I figured okay I should do a new one and forget about this so what I did is I bought a uh, that's four inch PVC pipe you can get it from the hardware store one thing is you can buy them in two footers or you could buy them in five feet long uh, this one here it's five feet and for a few extra cents uh, I recommend that you buy this one here you could make as many as you want uh, but so let me show you what I did and how I did it you, what you need is like I said the four inch uh, pipe you're going to need a cap which is it goes right on top of it and uh, you need the glue which I have here and I'm going to show you how to use the primer and the glue to glue these together now the end result they were like this and this here I used from the old water rip so that's the whole to hold it on the machine and this is the drain so uh, what you need to do then is to take the cap and drill a center hole I used a quarter inch quarter inch hole uh, right in the center to uh, to hold it down whether it's going to be the same as this or any other mean of holding it uh, that's what you need so that's what I'm going to use uh, in order to eliminate any leakage from that hole I use uh, rubber washers I use two and a bolt the bolt has the rubber washer on top of it uh, a regular steel washer that goes on top this one's going to go at the bottom it's going to go right from here and now on the other side you put the rubber washer and steel washer and then you tie it down with a nut so right now I'm not going to put it in because I just want to show you the rest of it on the side of it I drilled and tapped one inch NPT hole and the one inch NPT is for the fitting to put the water uh, valve right into it. So the water valve goes here and it will be fitted in and then you get the pipe which you're going to put it in there. After you assemble uh, the valve then you put the pipe in. Otherwise you won't be able to turn it around. So once you do this here, uh, that's all you need to do with the cap. So if you have a lathe or a drill press, you'll be able to do this with no problem. Now on the other side, which is the uh, four inch uh, pipe. Now the first one, you could see that uh, it was kind of short. And uh, it went, when, I, when I glued it in, it went all the way inside to the to the bottom and I lost a little bit on the height which I thought I was going to do it just halfway up to this point but when I put the glue and I pressed it in it just went all the way in and I couldn't take it out again but even with this it's still uh, enough volume of water that you can uh, put in uh, so on the next one what I did is I increased the length of it and if you look if I put it all the way to the bottom I still have about 
a little over two inches in height. So it'll give you more volume in water. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them together and just glue them. For to glue them together, what I'm going to do is use the primer and oops, the primer is going to go. Uh, right here like this so once you put the primer I put it also on the other side which is on the pipe itself it's everywhere and once you do that then all you have to do is just put the uh, the glue yeah, let me close this one up yeah. here's the glue put on the cap Sure, goes all over. And I put some also around this one. That would be good enough to put it in. And when you put it in, just twist it. You know it's tight right now. Doesn't take long to tighten it up. So now this is done. Here it is. Now for the cover, what I did is, I bought another one which is this here and also it's, it was threaded, all this was threaded and uh, it's made for just, uh, I think to uh, close or to tighten something that you want to get access to it. Anyway, what I did is I machined on the lathe all the threads and I got it uh, a little bit smaller uh, on the diameter to fit uh, the pipe itself. What I also did is on the pipe, I put it on a lathe and I cleaned uh, the tip a little bit, give it a little bit of chamfer, and this one will just fit nicely. So now when you have it like that, you get the cover and you put it in. Now, if you don't want to spend that much or you don't have the lathe uh, to machine this, uh, you could buy these plastic uh, caps and I think they're about a dollar something. So they're not that expensive. Uh, all I did is I put a handle on it, drill the hole and screw it in there and this one will just fit the same thing. So. You don't have to go to expenses and you don't need to, uh, and if you don't have a lathe, you, you don't need to use this one here. So it's kind of fancy, but you don't really need it. Uh, so that's basically all there is to it. So now we're going to uh, fit it on the, probably on the other machine, which it has the, uh, the same type of bracket. And as you can see here, I got the knot and the washers which they're going to be on this one and uh, the other side then you got to put the, the valve like I said so now the valve is going to fit here put the valve in first and uh, I got to put some tape so make sure it's not going to leak and once that is done I put the pipe in and uh, that's all there is to it so now you can build your own, it's very simple and it's easy. So I hope you like what you've seen and you can uh, build your own uh, water drip. And if you have any question, just let me know, ask, and don't forget to subscribe uh, so you can see any new videos that I'm uh, putting on YouTube, you'll get notified right away. Thank you for watching and see you next time.